हेलो व्यूवर्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस येट अनदर इम्पॉर्टेंट इन इक्वालिटी विच कैन बी प्रूफ्ड यूजिंग द फेमस लेग्रांजेज मीन वैल्यू थियोरम राइट सो हियर इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू टेक अप दिस इन इक्वालिटी वेर वी हैव टू प्रूफ बी माइनस ए ओवर बी इज लेस देन लॉग ऑफ बी ओवर ए and that is less than b minus a over a right and where a and b are real numbers uh, in which uh, a is uh, a and b both are greater than 0 but uh, uh, a is less than b right so here uh, we shall uh, prove this inequality by uh, using uh, lagrange's mean value theorem right so now uh, before uh, moving further let us quickly recall uh, the statement of lagrange's mean value theorem now in differential calculus uh, lagrange's mean value theorem uh, plays an important role right see uh, if we have a function say y is equal to f of x uh, which is defined in uh, some domain d and where uh, we can take uh, say uh, the interval a comma b right and uh, if this function y is equal to f of x is uh, uh, continuous in uh, the interval uh, a comma b and this function is also uh, differentiable or derivable in the interval a comma b here we have the open interval and uh, then uh, lagrange's mean value theorem uh, says that if this function is continuous in this interval that is closed interval a comma b and differentiable in the open interval uh, a comma b then lagrange's mean value theorem says that there must exist uh, some point c which belongs to uh, this interval a comma b right that is c must lie between a and b uh, such that the derivative of this function at this point c right so the derivative of uh, uh, f of x uh, can be written as f prime of x and at x is equal to c this is f prime of c and this f prime of c must be equal to f b minus f a uh, divided by b minus a right so this is the statement of uh, uh, lagrange's uh, mean value theorem right so here we shall uh, apply this concept uh, to prove uh, this important inequality so now uh, in this case where we have to uh, prove this inequality uh, the first step is to define this function y is equal to f of x right so here uh, the appropriate function uh, which can be taken here is y is equal to f of x uh, and we can take here a log of x right and here the base is e right so here the appropriate function which we are defining is y is equal to log of x and the interval uh, can be taken as a comma b right and where uh, a and b both are greater than 0 and uh, a is less than b right so to prove this inequality we have to assume uh, this type of function right so now uh, let us see uh, this function uh, satisfies uh, the uh, conditions of uh, lagrange's mean value theorem so let us take the first one so see uh, we know that the log function is continuous right so obviously here uh, log of x is a continuous uh, function in the interval uh, a comma b right and now if we find the derivative of f of x we'll get f prime of x as uh, d by dx of uh, log of x that is 1 over x right and obviously uh, the derivative exists in the interval a comma b right because a is greater than 0 so here uh, we cannot have x is equal to 0 right so in this uh, interval that is open interval a comma b uh, the derivative uh, exists so we can write the derivative 
exist or the function f of x is differentiable in this uh, interval right so now uh, once this uh, uh, function satisfies these two conditions uh, lagrange's mean value theorem says that uh, there must exist some point c uh, belonging to this interval that is a comma b right or we can write uh, c is greater than a and less than b so there must exist some point c uh, such that f prime of c is equal to f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a right so what we will do uh, we will now write f prime of c f of b minus f of a divided by b minus a so f prime of c can be obtained from here so we can now write here a 1 over c because here we'll take x is equal to c so f prime of c is 1 over c f of b can be obtained by taking x is equal to b so we have a log of b then minus f of a taking x is equal to a here so we'll get log of a and we can write b minus a right and here we can apply the uh, properties of uh, uh, logarithm that is the log of m minus log of n is equal to log of m over n right so now here we can write log of uh, b over a divided by b minus a right so now uh, we have the relation uh, 1 over c is equal to log of uh, b over a divided by b minus a right okay so now here uh, to move further uh, we'll make use of this inequality right so from here uh, we know that c lies between uh, a and b right so now if we take the reciprocal of all these three quantities see what we will get we'll get 1 over a here we'll get 1 over c and here we'll get uh, 1 over b right but when we take the reciprocal the direction of the inequality get reversed so here we'll have the uh, direction of inequalities like this right so we can write it as 1 over b less than 1 over c and here we can write uh, less than 1 over a right so now uh, we can take this as inequality number 2 now see here we have 1 over c and from this equation we can write 1 over c as log of b over a divided by b minus a so here we have 1 over b less than uh, log of uh, b over a divided by b minus a and less than 1 over a right okay so now uh, what we will do uh, we will uh, multiply this entire inequality by b minus a right and the direction of the inequalities uh, will not change here because c uh, b minus a is uh, greater than 0 right because b is greater than a so we can safely multiply uh, throughout by b minus a so here we'll get b minus a over b then here b minus a will get cancelled so we are left with log of uh, b over a and here uh, we will have b minus a over a right and see this is our desired inequality right so viewers this is how uh, by making use of uh, uh, Lagrange mean value theorem uh, we can uh, prove uh, these type of uh, inequalities.